What's going on YouTube? Back again. It's the Bratman. We're here at Bratman Facilities and we're working on a uh, 1987 1987 Honda XL 250R <clears throat> RFVC. We're doing uh, you know we're not doing a full restoration on this bike we're just uh, I'm just you know reviving it a little bit I don't want to do a uh, full restoration or nothing I just want to revive it just clean it up a little bit and um, it's looking pretty good I have one coat of paint on there I have to do a couple more coats but it it's a pretty good match it looks nice tank is all original I'm gonna leave that alone um, it's a shame because I wish I could find you know plastics for this bike and it's really difficult to find a to find a new fender I would like to find a new old stock fender but um, they're hard to find but this I think I think these headlight cows are basically all the same on all the Hondas I think they're the same on um, these as well they're basically all the same so I believe that uh, you can interchange these with this light but this cowling looks exactly the same I mean the bolts line up everything looks the same I don't know why but it's a different part number so not really sure why it's a different part number I, I'm pretty sure it is but I'm not 100% sure if anyone else knows about it let me know I'm not really sure we had the uh, super trap exhaust which came out really nice uh, you can see that look how nice that looks came out came out amazing I'm gonna hit this up with a uh, with some burlo the aluminum part but the pipe came out really nice pretty amazing so that came out nice put a new battery in get a brand new battery and uh, can't figure out why the uh, turn signals won't even light up or blink or nothing they won't do anything I'm not sure if it's the um, not sure if it's the switch or well, these bulbs could be totally toasted I mean if that's what's going on these bulbs are just totally burned out but when I hit the uh, turn signal I get nothing no no blinkage at all I don't hear anything nothing at all so I don't know where the signal stat is I think it's might be in here somewhere but anyways quick update just letting you guys know what's going on with the uh, the XL 250R uh, it'd be help if I turn the key back off so yeah it's coming up pretty nice this bike uh, has two different tires on it this is like an off a dual sport tire on and off-road and this one's just a an off-road tire so somebody put a brand new brand new front tire on there so I'm gonna match that one and to the back so it'll have brand new matching tires so uh, and other than that man the bike's solid it's all here it's in really good shape for an 87 it's a riders bike you can get on it and enjoy it it's not you know showroom pristine you know you don't have to worry about it you can actually enjoy this bike get on it and you can ride it this came out really nice looks really good i'm getting there doing small touches but uh looks pretty decent man it doesn't look bad at all i just wish it was easier to find plastics for it you know i really wish it was easier um and there's a small little crack there but it doesn't affect it in any way it's still sturdy but um i would like to find the original plastics man it would be a blessing and then put a brand new seat cover on there but the seat's still original uh, believe it or not original seat cover no no damage just a little dirty but no major damage no major rips on it it's still decent shape for being original 
Uh, the bars can, these bars could use some love. It's got like some scratches and stuff on it, but a little bit of weather. I mean, for an 87, it's, it's actually really not bad for 1987 um, for what it is. Some of these are just, you can't even get them anymore. They're so hard to find. It's a beautiful bike. The 87 has the, had the red engine, which is really cool. The 85, 86, they were orange. And Honda went from their traditional colors, their orange and or the red and orange, whatever, to the white in 87. And then they, they kind of went back and forth with, with their colors. So, but I love the, um, the the Honda wing the red white and blue it's just really cool to see that I love it I love Honda's colors it's just timeless it just gives me the butterflies and then we have the KLX here uh, started taking this apart uh, got a I'm trying to get plastics for this too so I'm trying to do one thing at a time but my ADHD is all over the place like I want to do everything at once and I can't so just gotta take it slow and do one thing at a time then we have the uh, the XR650 Beast Pro Circuit Exhaust. You guys seen the videos? I want to I want to do a riding a quick ride around video on this thing, man. I really want to, but the problem is I don't have anyone to film me to film me. So that's the issues I have is finding a camera person. So, anyways, like and subscribe. I'll be back soon with some updates. And uh, yeah, man, doesn't look too bad. Right for an 87, let's say it looks pretty, pretty good. Not too bad, not too shabby. So uh, doing one thing at a time here. I do have new turn signals for this right here. New old stock NOS. So we got some new old stock, new old stock lights. Check that out trying to be fancy here it's amazing that uh, I guess these are all the same I think I don't know they look they look the same a little bit longer but I'm sure they they would fit if you wanted them to fit I guess they make different size these are a little bit longer. A little bit longer. I don't know if you can see, but same, basically the same, the same light. So, but anyways, like and subscribe. I'll be back soon. Some more updates. And uh, be safe out there if you guys are riding. Peace and hair grease. Stepping on tools. See you guys later. See. You.